in this video we are going to create an amazing easy peasy shutter effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun so let's jump in photoshop welcome back everyone my name is dinar chaudhary from tasty tutorials and today we will create an amazing shutter effect which is called easy peasy maybe <laughs> the name is a little bit uh, funny so before we start let me just tell you one thing that if you didn't subscribe my channel just go to my channel go to uh, the subscribe button and click on that just subscribe to my channel to get every single update of my videos and uh, it will be amazing if you did that if you didn't that just go to my channel now okay click that uh, Looks apart, and now we will start our work. Before we start, let me just show you one thing that what we can create using these actions. So, this is the basic image. When we run our actions, the final output will be look like this. Amazing, and I love this. You can see that having amazing sanded effect with some extra details. See that. Keep in mind that it is an amazing output. Uh, okay, so there are lots of details in it. Uh, maybe there are sharpness included in that. You can even edit the color fields. You can check check or make some make changes. Some in backgrounds look like this. Turn off this. And after that, into the layers panel, uh, there are lots of things like some gradient map. So it could uh, differentiate between the particles and some uh, colors and some details and after that the main effect which is called the shutter effect. So in this effect there are lots of details like blurred, blend particles, particles, small particles, big particles, each and every particles will be created on your own choice. Okay, so there is no need to understand uh, the complete process. So it's just a step by step process. It is easy and very simple. So let's move to the next image. Okay, this is the simple image running these actions and the final output will be look like this. Okay, so having a lots of details in it like uh, same thing, same colors, sharpness, color fields, color fill and all the other shadow effect it all on your choice. So uh, we'll close this for the time being and we'll move to the uh, start our work before uh, we we have talked a lot about this so we'll move to the main image so we will use this image today and uh, uh, it's amazing and uh, pretty much high definition so uh, before we start anything else just keep in mind that your image should be 8 bit it should be in RGB if this is not in RGB or in, a, in other mode so just go to image mode where is image mode and go to rgb so it will check you will click on it they will check mark and it will be converted into rgb colors so it's a colorful layer basically now time to load these actions before we start the action let me just tell you that try to use a high definition image so here is the image size you can see that it is above from 1000 pixel from both sides from height from the and from the length uh, sorry width and from the height and the length uh, the height is approx 1671 it means that it is approx uh, more than 1600 pixels and the resolution is 72 pixels per inch but it has th 300 pixels per inch it means that it have more extra details included in that image so click on ok so your image should be in high definition image keep in mind that more than 1000 uh, uh, pixels hit ok now uh, now time to load these actions so go to windows if you don't see this icon just go to windows and click on actions it will open an action panel and uh, click on this icon there will be a drop down menu just go to load actions after clicking on that you will uh, see a folder option open so just navigate this to your uh, folder where you downloaded this file uh, after downloading that file just extract that and you will see that there is a one action file which is name which name is easy peasy shutter effects okay so click on that and click on load so i have already loaded it so i don't need to do this again 
so click on this arrow and we will extract all these things and you can see that there are lots of things included in this action so because basically this action is we can say that uh, broken into different parts so first of all uh, you don't need to do anything with your image we don't need to means uh, create any background or any brush layer everything will be customized uh, in an organized way so uh, on first step you can see that step one is prepare file so it means that we have to prepare the file before we start our work so we'll click and drag it out or we can say that extract this and you can see that there are some steps included in that so just click on play action it will take a little seconds and that's done so uh, the message will be grab a brush tool and paint over the character make sure the brush at is at 100% opacity and the selected area layer is uh, cut out area the se then select the layer shutter area and paint over the areas you want to shutter click on continue so we'll click on continue let me just tell you what it didn't mean so uh, click and select the cut out area layer and on this layer we will fill it with a black color so we'll hold uh, so our action file could uh, differentiate between this color so we'll simply just select uh, make your foreground, foreground color as black press control and click on your layer 0 it will create a selection around your image and select your cutout area layer and press alt plus backspace press control D it will fill this layer with a black color you can see that we have separate layer it didn't affect it on our main or we can say original layer okay on the next step we'll just hide this layer or we can say that turn off uh, its visibility for the time being now we'll move to the next image which is shutter area okay on this uh, layer uh, it's uh, already we can say that uh, we can get idea about uh, with its name shutter area it means that select the area on which you want to apply the shutter effects so we will change the layer color uh, to red or any color you can choose i i'm just basically changing the color to for the time being as a red so select your brush tool layer opacity should be 100 percent the flow should be 100 percent right click and harden should be zero percent you can make it hard but for this image we will make it soft enough so it will be zero percent hardness and the size is size doesn't matter okay uh, on this step before we color this you can see that if we will paint it over this there will be a edge created on the top side so what we will do is we will simply just go to crop tool and uh, we can say that increase the little area like this one a little bit not so much so just click on this check mark to accept the settings okay now we will go to brush layer and other settings that uh, you can see that 100% and the hardness and the softness is already done now the color is a red color select your shutter uh, shutter area layer and click and fill it with this color so great so we have filled this with our basic color you can see that and let's just fix this side and this side too okay so i have filled this layer with our desired color and now what we'll do is we'll simply just hide this up and maybe we should just visible these both layers and before we do uh, anything else uh, we will simply just uh, create a control and click and create a new layer under our main or we can say original layer and uh, we will fill this with any color like for the time being we will fill it with a gray color so it is cb 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 so hit ok you can use any color press alt plus backspace to fill it with this color and now what we'll do is we'll press shift select both of these layer our original layer and our uh, filled layer which is a uh, gray layer press control and e now it will merge these both layers now we'll go to layer new layer and uh, we'll click on background from selected layer so it will create a lock on this layer and fix this as our background layer now turn off these both uh, we can say that color and cutout layers now click on this action file our step one is done now we'll click on cutout and ref reframe step two of this action so click and extract that click on play action and it will be done so done and run step three so we'll click on continue close this side 
and you can see that the area is massively very very high so don't be worried about that don't do anything with this just leave it as it is before uh, we will first finish our work or total work and then we will close this uh, when we will satisfy this uh, with our results okay so now we'll go to this uh, the play button and it will open up our uh, open up our actions panel and click and close this and click on the third step and generate small particles okay uh, what it will do is it will simply just generate some small particles on the start you will not see any any big uh, we can say that improvement so don't worry about that just follow the steps and watch full video because these actions are uh, according to my knowledge is pretty much different from other actions so click on step 3 extract that and click on play button and wait for these processes to complete their work okay so that this process is completed message is done and run step 4 so stop this and you will see that there is not a big change in our action but you can if you will um, focus more you will see that there are small particles uh, have generated here so don't worry about that just uh, close step 3 and we will open up uh, step 4 so on the step 4 we will simply just uh, it is a generate medium particles we will simply just click on play button and wait for this process also to complete its work okay so this step is also done run step 5 click continue and close this and now we will select our step 5 click and extract that the step 5 is generate large particle now we will click and run these actions also so uh, we can say that uh, we would see what's going on on this step so click play action and we will wait for this process to complete its work okay so this steps is also done and now we will run step 6 <laughs> these are steps by step work so don't worry about that everything is in your control and you, now you will see that there is a little improvement in that you can see that there are particle generation is started okay now we'll simply just close step 5 and move to the step 6 which are generate chaotic particles so these are chalk particles and now we, you will see after this step the improvement is very very uh, well so click on play button and wait for this process also to complete its work okay so this process uh, this process is also done and we will close the step 6 and we will move to this step 7 this is generate blood particle and we will run this now it will not lots of time so we will simply just run that and there we go it is also we can say uh, it will little time to complete this but don't worry about that the bigger problem is now you have passed and that's it okay now close this one and we'll move to the next step and it will create some extra blends so it could look more fabulous so click on play button and wait for this process also to complete to complete uh, its work so there we go this is also done and now we'll add some sharpness so it could look more fabulous so the sharpness is also approximately done that's it the action work is done we will close this layer panel and you can see that there is a bigger bigger area uh, we can say that the wasted area is also so much so we don't need this uh, empty area we click this uh, move tool and we will press ctrl alt and close this all shutter effects uh, we can say that uh, group now press c from your uh, selected layer 
uh, we can see the selected tools and we'll open up a crop tool click and we'll simply just uh, remove the area which we don't need so we don't need this side and we also don't need this side that's it so now click on this check mark to accept these settings but when we click here uh, I think it's enough so this is the final effect which we are working on and it's amazing you can see that some dust particles some blood particles and you can see that it looks a little uh, faded uh, I don't like this uh, uh, white side so we'll simply just go to color fill and click and turn off this and you can see that the original uh, amazing color uh, having amazing and great output and there are lots of things in here you can see that you can change the brightness you can change the contrast even you can change you can see that there is a little blue color we can change it to a black background as we have in original layer and there are lots of particles you can see that bigger particles smaller particles and uh, uh, large particles and uh, maybe you can copy them and increase them by press uh, select this and press ctrl and j and press v move tool and we will move them to outside so simple and there are some medium particles which are not uh, splendidly visible but these particles are a little bit visible so we'll press ctrl j and to check if it works so i i don't think so it will work uh, so we'll undo that and press delete so we don't need them and chaos particles let's see how these look so press ctrl j and we'll move them outside so no this is also not so working fine okay so we are fine with this original output and uh, looks amazing and fabulous i hope you like these actions too and uh, if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel to get every new videos i have uploaded some recent stock footages st uh, sorry stock photos uh, on my blog just go there and check those photos you have uh, uh, uploaded i have uploaded them into onto my blog uh, just visit my blog and you will find out lots of things on my blog and on my channel you will get amazing things to apply on your images so it will be fun and uh, we will meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning